I just found this cute, kitschy bunny still in its package. It's from 1997. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the Goodwill bins again for another treasure hunt. Um, it's always exciting to come in here. I, You never know what you're gonna find. It's like I say, it's always like a treasure hunt. So let's get our butts in there and see what we can find today. It's gonna be another gorgeous, beautiful day here in Iowa. Super, super nice. I love it, it's warm out right now. And I got lucky, there's a car, yes. Hello. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go peek at the glass. Okay, let's see what they have for glass. If anything, this is pretty. Oh, they're bringing out Ben. They're bringing out so soft. Place, I'm gonna look in the glass that. first. And I know to keep you safe, but the fire but I don't think also, there's gonna be anything in the, in the glass because my friend came yesterday and said there wasn't really anything in here. Her arm is broken. Sorry, I'm right under the speaker. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. My friend was in here yesterday and said there wasn't anything in here, but look at this is a McNugget Buddy. It's a McNugget Buddy from 2023. It's new. He's new. That's cute. But the mate's not in here. Is that the mate to it? I think that's the mate. It's a Santa and a mushroom. That is cute. It is. I'm gonna get that set. I'll get that set. That's adorable. That is adorable set. It's a glass stopper. I'll put that into a treasure bag. That will go into a treasure bag. Well, there's a couple things. I always pass the silver rag up because I don't need any more. I got knives the other day. And that's about it for the glass. It's pretty much empty. I'm gonna go look at the hard. Okay, this was the last hard that they did. So we're gonna search in here. That is so heavy. Oh, lifting weights, lifting weights. Garfield. I wish that wasn't open. That's cute. It's strawberry shortcake. There's only like one sheet in there. 
Same with this. It's open. There's only like one sheet. If they were new, I would take them. But I don't know if you guys would want them if they're open, would you? I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. There's more. out of its package. I'm just putting them together in case somebody does want I'm weird like that. I do that. Little splat bat. box. It was originally $10, $10 at the store it came from. There's more. Winnie the Pooh. Again, open. I just found this cute, kitschy bunny still in its package. It's from 1997 from Kmart. Kmarts are not open no more. And it barely weighs anything. And he's so cute. So I'm going to take him because he's fun and kitschy. This is cool. He's old. I don't know where his body is. Where's the rest of his body? He's cool. I'm still going to take him. Maybe I'll find the body somewhere. If not, maybe he'll go into a treasure bag. Who knows? Oh my goodness. That is a heavy bean bag. Huge. It's time for some new bins. Here they are to take away these hard goods. Gonna bring out some new ones. We'll see if there's anything good in them. All right, let's see what's gonna roll out in front of us. These ones are down there. Well, this is what rolled out in front of me. <laughs> we'll see if there's anything in here. Look at all these bags. What? We don't want all these bags. There's a nice helmet. Oh, 
cute. He'll go into a linen bag. So he's going back. Um, found some old card games, and that's about it. Little things for goodie treasure bags. Yeah, well, that was really crappy. <laughs> I didn't really hardly get anything good in those hard goods. It's been like that, really. For what? Well, that's cute. That'll go into a linen bag. That's in good condition. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might take off and go over to a flea market. Here's Pammy. Pammy. She's dirty and in rough condition. You never know if all the puzzle pieces are in there unless you sit and count them all. Cute. I wish this would be in better condition, but it's really, really rusted. If it would have been like more of the graphics on there, then I would have got it, but it's really rusted and you can't even see what the bottom word says so it's gonna stay behind like a lot of this stuff <laughs> oh. Look at my friend Omar. He's wearing a hot dog costume. <laughs> he loves it. It's so fun. Today, here's the soft, guys. You always say you want to see me digging in the soft, and I hate it. I hate digging in the soft so much it hurts my arm. Um, usually, I just come, and then if I see a linen that I'm interested in, then I will start digging in the bins. But other than that, I just mainly stick to the hard over here. Well, I found my friend Alex a few good things in here, but nothing much for myself to resell. Um, yeah, it's been boring day. I've been here all day, so I'm going to go check out. We'll get into the hall when we get home. Alrighty, well, we made it out of the Goodwill bins, and I spent a total of $17, but part of that was uh, for my friend Alex's stuff. Um, my part was $9 total. I spent $9 on stuff for resale. Um, it was a kind of a slow day, but I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. So this was one of the things that I picked up. It is so cute. And I figured with Easter right around the corner, um, this would be a really good thing to pick up for springtime. It's got a cardboard bottom. It's original tag from Kmart. It's from 1997, new old stock Easter so stinking kitschy and cute i love his little jean bibs his little overall bibs and look at his face it's adorbs so i picked that little guy up and then i found this in the glass bins you guys know if you've been following me for a while i love faces i have a thing for anthropomorphic things and i thought this was absolutely stinking cute and adorable it's a vintage planter and it is from Japan. It's stamped Japan right there. And it has its original Anarcho sticker. It's so cute and adorbs. It's got a few little scuffies. I think a Mr. Clean Eraser might take that off. Um, I don't want to take the paint off. So, I don't know. But it's cute, right? Cute little face. And then I did pick up this. And it does glow. 
This was the only piece that I have found in the glass bins. It's really dusty on the inside. I need to clean it, but yeah, it does glow under a black light. So picked up that piece. Um, I picked up this cute little set. This cute little salt and pepper shaker set. Isn't that so adorable? Little Santa and a mushroom. And they were originally $20. That's crazy, $20 for this set. He's got a little little black mark on his beard. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not, but it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Then I found this little thing. It's a cute little mixer. And it is marked um, Betty, Betty something, Beaties. I don't know. It's marked right there. It's got a wooden handle. It's, it's a tiny little miniature. It's so cute. Um, a rubber squeaky snowman. He's kitschy and fun. Good condition. I like the squeaky things. So he came home with me. Three decks of vintage cards. These are fun. Um, they're actually, they're all old maids. Oh no, one's hearts and then two of them are old maids. So those are really fun. I like picking up the old decks of cards. I picked up these for a treasure bag. I thought they were really cute little wishing well miniatures. So those will go into a treasure bag. These will probably go into a treasure bag. A uh, vintage goodie um, hair clippies. They have been open. One is missing out of there. Else I would sell, or else I would like sell them separately. But they're going to go into a treasure bag. Along with this is going to go into a Christmas treasure bag. This cute little wooden clown. I picked up this. I couldn't find the body. He is an older blow mold um, pumpkin jack o' lantern with his hat. Isn't that cute? But I couldn't find his body, unfortunately, so I don't know what he goes on. He's adorable. Maybe he'll go into a treasure bag. Who knows? This cute little vintage flocked deer still in its package. It's adorable. It's got little, little white spots on its behind. It's so cute. So I thought that was neat. Um, this is going to go in a treasure bag. It's a little Disney magnet clippy. I found an embroidered piece. It's really pretty. It's double sided. And this will go into a linen bag. It's Henry. Oh, it's a little hand puppet and it's Henry. How cute. Um, these I found for my son. He is going to be actually pretty excited when I show him these. He's in the bedroom right now. He just got out of the shower. But these are actually all little metal Minecraft people. They're all Minecraft. Every single one of them. There's a whole bunch of them in here. A whole bag. They're just neat little figurines. They're metal too, so I thought those were cool. He'll like those. Um, this is gonna go in a treasure bag. It's a wooden hourglass. Oh, I thought that was fun. That's gonna go into a treasure bag. It's a little glass um, stopper. I did pick up some miniatures. I picked up Jack Skeleton. A little Easter Bunny. Oh, I'm throwing them. Little Easter Bunny. And then the rest of them are Rudolph, the Christmas little characters that guy that always is hunting 
for silver and gold, silver and gold. <laughs> and then the girl, Rudolph, or Clarice, Clarice and Rudolph, and then the little Island of Misfits doll. So those bag of miniatures. This really fun. You can hang it up on your wall in your kitchen. Little crocheted piece. A couple patches that are going to go into a treasure bag. And then three table runners. Three embroidered table runners. These are really, really pretty. So there's this one. And they're all three embroidered. Oh, that's not a table runner. I thought that was a table runner, but it's not. It's a tiny little table cloth or a tiny table. Oh, here's the runner. There we go. Aren't they pretty? So that was my haul, guys. I spent um, $9 on all that stuff. I don't think I did too bad. Nothing great fantastic today, but hey, all days can't be winners, right? I think I did okay. Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below too. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of a slow, um, slow day, but still better than nothing, right? Um, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.